Casinos want to steal your time, not your money. I know that may sound weird, but let me explain. You see, the goal of any casino is not to simply just take your money, but to make you dependent on their powerful addiction engine. They want you to become subservient to them and be almost forced to spend every waking moment in their facility. The simple solution is to basically walk away, right? Well, not quite. You see, today we're going to explore a few techniques that are employed against you and other players, and we're going to talk about how you can save yourself from being played like a fool. This is the Infinite Wealth series. Welcome to episode 1, Casinos and Time. Alright look, let's get a brief overview and then we can get into the deeper techniques. This is the simplest technique that they have, which is basically wasting time. They want to make sure you spend as much time as possible within the casino, playing different games, trying your luck. They want you there constantly. And the reason they do this is because they want you to lose your initial money and withdraw more. So let's say you go into a casino with, I don't know, a hundred bucks. They want you to go in and lose a thousand, ten thousand or even more. They just want you to keep spending, 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 thinking you're going to be lucky the more time you spend here. But that's wrong. You see, they want you to believe that the longer you stay, the longer you play, the more you earn. But that's completely false. Now, the reason why they do this is because they already have a massive advantage in most games. So you will always lose money, right? The odds are not in your favor. Statistically, you're almost guaranteed to always lose. They want to make sure that you don't win too much in a short amount of time. So they're going to force you to waste time by offering you free drinks, maybe giving you a complimentary room. They want you to spend more and more time because the casino is really a ticking time bomb. And we're going to get into that much deeper later, but basically they want you to spend all your time in their facility, wasting it and not being able to think or leave. Now, this is how you can beat the basic system. You need to be smart and use time management skills. You need to be aware of what you have and where you want to be. You need to set a goal. And when you're winning, you must leave. Now, that is the hardest part. There's not many people who can do that. That's why average people will not be good at this. But if you really want to be good, you need to be able to leave. And most of all, do not try to beat them by being as sleazy as them. So that means don't cheat. You're either going to get kicked out or you're going to get beaten up. That's just a simple fact. And they may not beat you up, but they are going to put you in their uh, list of banned people. If you're enjoying this video, please subscribe. All right, this is a crazy scenario, which is basically called the love bomb. This is basically before you win a lot of money. What the casino does is if they consider you to be a high level player, they're going to comp a lot of things for you. They're going to make your stay as comfortable and fun as possible. So this means getting a lot of free stuff. This means getting a hotel room for free, getting meals for free. They want you to stay within their system. They want to make sure that they can watch you and make sure you spend a lot of your money over there. Now, this is usually meant for the high level players people who are spending millions. However, this also applies to regular consumers who stay in a, in a casino hotel. Let me explain. So the reason they do this is because in the business world, this is called the walled garden. This is basically what companies like Apple do, which is basically they want you to stay within their own world. So let's say if you buy an iPhone, they're going to try to make sure you buy an iPad and a Mac so that all three of your devices can talk to each other and communicate and make your life as easy as possible. However, in this scenario, you don't have have the freedom to buy whatever you want. You're essentially going to follow their rules in their system and going to do what they want. So this is basically the same thing that a casino does. They want you to be in their world. So they're going to make sure you live at their hotel, eat at their restaurants, go to their shows, play at their place and spend all of your time there. They want to make sure you spend 100% of your time at their facilities, kind of like a cruise. But essentially, let's say you're on a one week vacation and you're spending it in Vegas. In one week, you have 168 hours to do whatever you want minus 56 hours for sleeping the casino wants you to spend a hundred and twelve hours basically hundred percent of your waking time at their facilities watching their shows eating their food playing their games and making sure you do everything that is humanly possible within their place now how do you beat an insane maze like this you essentially need to spend time doing things moderately and try to go to places outside of their facilities escape the maze really keep your mind fresh 
fish, go for a walk, check out the actual city, and don't just stay indoors playing their games, eating their food, watching their shows. And listen, a lot of the times they're going to give you gifts, like they're going to give you free drinks, they're going to give you free food. Don't let this fool you. Don't let this lo this fake love put you in a trap. They're trying to rob you at the end of the day. They're just trying to rob you in many different ways. Like your time is extremely important. So they're going to try to steal your money through your time. So you have a couple of options. Either don't accept their gifts, which in most cases people will accept the gift. But if you are accepting the gift, don't get bullied or guilt tripped into spending all your time in one place. This is their goal and you need to be smart enough to beat that system. So understand what it is and try to be smarter than it and beat the system. All right, scenario two is essentially where you're gonna get where you're getting bullied by the casino. Now, this is what they do. The casino will try to strong arm you and scare you into like into following their pattern, maybe doing something that they want, maybe not winning as much, maybe whatever. Essentially, what they do is they show you that they're visibly watching you. They're showing you that security is trying to bump up next to you. They're coming next to you, they're asking you questions. What are you doing here? Where are you from? All this stuff. All of this is just an action by them to bully you into believing them and doing whatever they want. Want. They basically want you to be as nervous as possible so that they can force you to play by their rules. And that's basically their right. They usually do this to prevent cheaters. They want to get people to, they basically don't want people to outsmart their system. And again, that's their right. They have the right to do whatever they want within their building, as long as it's not illegal. So if they don't want you to play blackjack, they can force you to stop playing. They've done this in many occasions. This is a very common situation when a player is winning a lot and they want them to stop. And another reason they do this is basically because they once again want to make you nervous they want to make you stop doing what you're doing they don't want you to play smart they want you to start making foolish mistakes start losing money start doing all that the essential idea behind this isn't so much time wasting but it's more about making your time miserable so you make mistakes so you fall into line and you can't figure out how to beat them now how do you beat a system like this essentially you can't get phased you can't be afraid you can't let them get into your head now if you are cheating Eating, maybe stop and leave because they have the right to not cash you out to ban you to do whatever you have to try to be friendly try to show them that you will play by their rules and maybe pretend that you're not as smart as you seem and you know show that you're not really a threat to them so basically you need to be smart you need to not get scared you need to focus on getting yourself out of there rather than staying in there and maybe getting into trouble cash yourself out if you can don't get bullied try to play along with them try to be smart again your time is your most valuable asset in there so you need to make your time as good clean and valuable as possible so be smart about it and don't mess around too much all right this is the opposite of the love bomb this is the prison now the prison is kind of an insane system that i believe is mostly not used anymore but is used in certain ways let me explain this is for big time winners who want to cash out however the casino may not have an excuse for not letting you cash out maybe they can't scam you by saying oh you were cheating or oh, you were doing this or that they have to let you cash out in instead of just letting you walk they're gonna offer you an extended stay they will promise to pay for your flight back home they're gonna promise your hotel room is free they're gonna give you all sorts of things and those are genuine promises they will give you the free flight the free hotel room free meals free drinks free shows free everything except for free chips at the casino they might give you a little bit but essentially they're gonna be giving you a prison cell to stay inside by forcing you to not leave even though you're smart enough and you want to leave now back in the mafia days they would just essentially tell you your car isn't working this or that they're gonna play dirty games in the modern day it's more clean and sophisticated but let me explain why they do that they want you to stay and continue to lose your money again time is a key element here they want you to stay longer so that one week stay will be turned into two maybe three four weeks even usually not that long usually your luck runs out within a few days but their goal is to force you to stay as long as possible and if they're forcing you to stay you're gonna go play and they might even force you to play they're gonna bring you down they're gonna say hey come on we're gonna give you a free thousand dollars dollars just come down because they know you're going to spend maybe tens of thousands of dollars maybe hundreds of thousands and if you're really rich maybe millions of dollars wasted so they don't want you to walk out with all that money now this is how you 
might be able to beat it. You need to walk out on your own terms and not be fooled by them. Let's say you're up a hundred thousand dollars or a million dollars. You need to walk. You need to tell yourself, I'm not going to win more. We're going to talk a little bit more about statistics in a bit, but essentially when you have the money, you have the power, but you won't have the power for long. This is a ticking time bomb. You need to leave as soon as possible because the longer you stay, the higher the chances are that your luck is going to run out. Now, again, if you're somehow being forced to stay, I don't know, maybe you might have to just escape by saying, I'm going to the bathroom, grab your money, run away. I don't know, figure it out. But essentially in the modern day, it's a little less of a situation like it was back in the mafia days of Vegas. However, now you basically just need to be able to walk out on your own terms. Don't get that extra week long stay. Don't do all those extra things. Just leave when you know it's the time to leave. All right, this is another crazy scenario, but this is the hot streak fallacy. Essentially, people are saying, oh, I'm in a good streak right now. I'm winning a lot of money. I need to stay. However, the casino has a statistical advantage for basically every game in the house. For example, roulette seems like a 50-50 game, but in all actuality, there's a 48% chance for the player to win because of the green spot. You see, they set up a lot of these fake things that make you think that you have a much bigger advantage than you really do, but that's old school. We all know about that. The casinos nowadays want you to believe that if you bet more and in weird ways, you're going to win more. This is why things like parlays and other such large mechanisms of betting have become so popular. I read this somewhere but I believe 95% of parlays fail. So when a $5 bet could turn into $50,000, it's not actually going to work. This is going to be a once in a million chance and most people won't get there. What they do is they want you to believe that you're on the lucky side. However, statistics proves that every single time your luck will run out and this isn't because you're unlucky. Let's say you're playing heads or tails. You're going to flip heads three times in a row and you're going to think, wow, next one is heads. Heads is lucky, but you never know. Next one definitely could be heads. Next one definitely could also be tails. It's 50-50, but they want you to believe that you have 100% odds because you're quote unquote lucky. Why do they do this? The major factor behind this is because they want you to fall into their zero sum game. This is an economic factor where essentially you will never win because you have a limited budget. However, the casino has a theoretically infinite budget. Number one, because they have a statistical advantage. Number two, they have multiple millions, if not billions of dollars to spend in defeating you. In any hundred or thousand hands of any game, you will eventually win and you will eventually lose. In the long term, you're going to lose more often than you win because of the slight advantages of the casino. See that 2% of roulette is actually going a very long way over thousands of spins. This is why high rollers who actually beat the casino leave before it's too late. They know they have a limited amount of time. Like for example, the UFC CEO Dana White, he knows how to win at black Blackjack. There's many videos online, you can go check it out. But he plays for a set amount of time and then walks away. He might be up $400,000, he'll walk away. That $400,000 is not much to him. He has hundreds of millions of dollars. But the point is, he understands that there is a limit to these games and he, he needs to walk away as soon as possible. Because first of all, the casinos are going to start bullying you, the statistical advantage is going to die, and you're going to get greedy. The biggest factor here is you yourself will get greedy as time goes on. How do you actually beat this on a personal level? Basically, yeah. You might have a hot streak. You might be going good for a little while. But again, statistically, it will not last forever. You will need to leave when you have won a set amount of money, your goal amount. You cannot get greedy. You need to tell yourself to not get greedy because this is a ticking time bomb. And eventually you will lose every single thing you have. Focus on taking what you need and walking away. This is a time game. You need to be ahead of time. You need to be thinking two steps ahead. You need to be ahead of yourself even. Because human nature, we are all inherent greedy. So we want to stay and make more money. The best way to beat the hot streak fallacy is to leave when you're up and don't think about potential other wins or oh I could have won this much extra or done all this. It doesn't exist. It's just like Schrodinger's cat or some invisible arrow or some genie in a lamp. It just won't happen. If you've left and you're up you've already won. Don't worry about it. They lost and they're contemplating banning you forever. So enjoy that. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe and maybe check these other ones out too.